My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to the Father. And you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Can you believe that it has already been six weeks since Easter? That six weeks ago, we celebrated the passion and the death and the resurrection of Jesus. And very soon, we're going to be celebrating his ascension to heaven. And then, right after that, we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. With all of the drama that has been taking place around Christ, when we hear this gospel today, Jesus seems to be surprised that his disciples aren't asking him where he's going, what's going to happen next. You heard what he said. Now, I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, where are you going? Then he said, even though you are sad, don't worry, because it is necessary for you that I go so that the Holy Spirit can come. If I go, I will send him to you. Jesus will send the advocate to plead our causes. He's going to send us the Holy Spirit to give us hope and freedom from our sins. The beautiful thing is that it's all part of God's plan for our salvation. With the Holy Spirit, this gift, we are able to ask the same question that the jailer that you heard in the first reading asked Paul and Silas after he experienced how God worked to free them from prison, remembering they were in prison because they preached the word. And the question that the jailer asks was this, what must I do to be saved? And you know, this question that we heard today in this reading is the same question that all of us come to ask. Because each and every single one of us here in this church, we all need to be set free from our prisons. We all need to be let go of the beatings of life and the chains that are caused by our sins and the difficulties that we have in life. We need to find freedom. And we can find that freedom from so many different things, from sickness. Number one, how many people who suffer because of illness? Addictions, how many people are caught up in addictions? Loneliness, lost dreams, so many problems in family life. We hold on to past hurts, financial worries. We're angry over so much. We grieve the loss of our loved ones and there's so much more. There is so much more that we experience in life that we really want to have freedom from. You know, and it's the Spirit of God who dwells in each and every single one of us that can help us 
that can save us and that can set us free. It's all part of God's plan, just as we saw. You know, St. Rita, she knew in her own life the same beatings and chains and prisons that we experience in our life every single day. You know her story as a wife, as a mother, as a widow, as one who grieved the death of her children, someone who experienced so many disappointments, the pain that she had from the stigmata. She needed to seek God's help. And that's why she also prayed, what must I do to be saved? And her prayers were answered. Prayers were answered by the advocate, the Holy Spirit, who pleaded her cause. Her prayers were answered and she received that freedom and that peace that she sought, just as we do. Her thorns that she found in life gave way to the roses that now she offers to us as she intercedes for us and for each and every single one of your personal intentions during this novena and also throughout all of your life. You know, just like the disciples, like St. Rita, your sadness and your grieving can become joy because of the working of the Holy Spirit inside of you. My dear people, you just heard the gospel, how through the prayers and the hymns of Paul and Silas, remember, who were beaten and then thrown into jail, how they suddenly, there was a severe earthquake and all the doors of the prison, it said, flew open and the chains on them were pulled loose. Their prayers were answered. Really, think about it, meditate. The earthquake was the work of the Holy Spirit. And like Paul and Silas, St. Rita, she also experienced an earthquake in her life from all of the trials that even we too now experience in our life. It is all part of God's plan. It's all part of God's plan for our freedom, for our peace, and our salvation. And so now we can say, St. Rita, pray for us so that the Holy Spirit will free us from the beatings that we receive in life and from the chains and the prisons of life that sometimes seem hopeless. But we know and we're, that there's nothing greater than the power of God and the hope that he gives. St. Rita, be the earthquake for us that softens life's beatings on us, that breaks the chains that bind us, and frees us from the prisons that hold us captive. St. Rita, hear our petitions and intercede for us, for to the Father, through the Holy Spirit, and through Jesus Christ, his Son. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and our hearts will be renewed. And you will renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit a love and desire for what is right and just and the constant enjoyment of his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Immaculate Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Mary, Mother of pure love, pray for us. 
Holy Mary, comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Holy Mary, queen of all the saints. Pray for us. Holy Mary, model of life for Saint Rita. Pray for us. Saint Rita, our advocate and protectress. Pray for us. Saint Rita, beloved by the Lord. Pray for us. Saint Rita, given special grace from heaven. Pray for us. Saint Rita, remarkable in childhood. Pray for us. Saint Rita, model of obedience to God's will. Pray for us. Saint Rita of untiring patience. Pray for us. Saint Rita, model of Christian mothers. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mirror for Christian spouses. Pray for us. Saint Rita, heroic in sacrifice. Pray for us. Saint Rita, generous in forgiving. Pray for us. Saint Rita, martyr in penitence. Pray for us. Saint Rita, embracing humility and poverty. Pray for us. Saint Rita, exemplary as a widow. Pray for us. Saint Rita, prompt to answer the divine call. Pray for us. Saint Rita, patient in suffering. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mirror of religious observance. Pray for us. Saint Rita, mystical rose of every virtue. Pray for us. Saint Rita, enamored of the passion of Christ. Pray for us. Saint Rita, pierced with a thorn. Pray for us. Saint Rita, in ecstasy before the Blessed Sacrament. Pray for us. Saint Rita, consumed with divine love. Pray for us. Saint Rita received into heaven with joy. Pray for us. Saint Rita incorrupt in your chaste body. Pray for us. Saint Rita advocate of impossible cases. Pray for us. Saint Rita persevering in prayer. Pray for us. Saint Rita help of those in need. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lord, you have signed your servant Rita. With the marks of your love and passion. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Saint Rita such grace that she loved her enemies and bore in her heart and on her forehead the mark of your love and passion, grant us, we beseech you, through her merits and intercession, a love for our enemies. Through our contemplation of your sufferings and passion, may we merit the reward promised to the meek and the suffering. You live and reign forever. Amen. Glorious Saint Rita, patroness of those in need, your intercession with our Lord is most powerful. Through the favors obtained by your prayers, you have been called advocate of hopeless and even impossible cases. Saint Rita, humble and pure, patient and compassionate lover of Christ crucified. We have confidence that everyone who has recourse to you will find comfort and relief. Listen to our petitions and show your power with God in our behalf. Obtain our petitions for us if they are for the greater honor of God and for our good. We promise if our petitions are granted to make known your favor and to glorify God for his gift. Relying on your power with the merciful Savior, we ask of you. By the singular merits of your childhood, obtain a request for us. By your perfect union with the divine will. Obtain our request for us. By your acceptance of troubles in your married life. Obtain our request for us. By the anguish felt at the murder of your husband. Obtain our request for us. By the surrender of your children rather than have them offend God. Obtain our request for us. By your miraculous entrance into the convent. Obtain our request for us. By your daily penance and fasting. Obtain our request for us. By your courage and joy in bearing the mark of the crucified Savior. Obtain our request for us. By the divine love which consumed your life. Obtain our request for us. By your devotion in receiving the Blessed Sacrament. Obtain our request for us. By the happiness you felt in leaving this life for union with Christ. Obtain our request for us. By the example you have given to people of every state of life. Obtain our request for us. Pray for us, Saint Rita. That we may be glory in the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, in your infinite love and mercy, you heed the prayer of your beloved servant, Rita. 
you graciously grant favors through her intercession, which are considered impossible to human skill and effort. Relying on her compassionate love, we ask you to assist us in our trials and difficulties. Let unbelievers know that you are the helper of the humble, the defender of the weak, and the strength of those who trust in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord.